Hello and welcome to the Gadgets and Gizmo show on Headlines today. I'm Siddharth Sharma and over the next half an hour, we've lined up a power-packed show for all you guys out there. Wondering what's up our sleeves? Take a look at the lineup. On the show this week, we get you exclusive sneak peek into Microsoft Surface Pro 3. We also tell you all about the new BlackBerry Passport. And also, we have speakers that will fit your budget and with a boom. India is a country that has an average internet reach, but this might be about to change. Internet.org held a summit in India this week and the opening keynote was presented by none other than Mark Zuckerberg, CEO and founder of Facebook. And he had some pretty good ideas. Let's take a look. Thanks. Thank you. It's, it's great to be here with you in, in Delhi. Zuckerberg visited India to promote Facebook's Internet.org project, which aims to make the internet connectivity more affordable and viable across the world. It starts up here at 60,000 feet with planes powered by the sun, opening up the internet to people everywhere. At the event, he talked about the vast potential India has and how internet can work as an enabler for many Indians to make their dreams come true. Because you've embraced science and research and education, now the next generation here has the opportunity to define the future and bring India to the world and the world to India. And a key to this next big opportunity is going to be embracing the internet. Because if you embrace the internet, you can transform lots of people's lives and, and you can touch um, and, and you can improve um, people's lives and, and these communities even more in the next generation than you were able to in the last. Zuckerberg was also impressed by India's mass mission. Because of how, how you've embraced the computer revolution, uh, you have a vibrant computer industry and a lot of the best engineers in the world. Um, you know, just last month, India became the first country in Asia and one of the only countries in the world to send a probe to Mars. It's a huge technical achievement. Zuckerberg believes that the next generation in India has a chance not only to shape the future of the country, but also future of the world if the people here are connected to the internet. And, you know, if we can connect more people here, we can not only improve the lives of... And to make that possible, he met India's technologically savvy Prime Minister Narendra Modi earlier this week in New Delhi to help in the Digital India Movement. So, I hope you'll join us in doing this. Thank you. BlackBerry has been a struggling company and now they are trying to get their basics right and they came out with the all-new BlackBerry Passport. Let's take a look at the specs of this new device first and then we'll tell you the review. The BlackBerry Passport comes with a 4.5-inch square touch display with 1440 by 1440 resolution and 453 ppi pixel density. The Passport's hardware brawn is supplied by a 2.2 GHz Snapdragon 801 quad-core processor and 3 GB of RAM along with 32 GB of expandable internal storage. Running BlackBerry OS 10.3, the productivity smartphone is powered by a huge 3540 mAh battery which BlackBerry says lasts 30 hours. The device ships with a 13 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization and a powerful processor. BlackBerry Passport comes at a price tag of Rs 49,990. Okay then, those were the specs on the all new BlackBerry Passport. And now let's tell you whether the smartphone is worth your money or not. BlackBerry Passport, is it any good? Well, let's just say it's not a smartphone for everyone. It's good to see something a little more eccentric with regards to design when it comes to a smartphone. BlackBerry went on to make their new phone look like a passport and unimaginatively named it, well, Passport. The Passport weighs in at 196 gram and is heavier than anything the company has ever produced. The BlackBerry Passport is big, very big. 
it's square and it has a physical keyboard which also doubles up as a trackpad for scrolling around menus, apps and web pages. Thanks to the integration of a touch sensitive panel inside the hardware, QWERTY keyboard below the display. Your fingers almost never get in the way of reading or otherwise interacting with on-screen content. It uses fine materials and looks elegant, sturdy and beautiful. The Passport's display is a 4.5 inch 1440x1440 pixel IPS LCD setup and is the best display on a BlackBerry handset till date. BlackBerry chose this resolution and aspect ratio 1 to 1 for a very specific reason. Normal mobile phone displays 40 characters across their screens, but with the Passport's extra width, you get 60 characters, which makes reading things like ebooks, web pages, and BlackBerry's favorite spreadsheets a lot easier. Colors look fantastic with excellent contrast and lots of details. Text appear crisp and there's no hint of pixelation anywhere. Now BlackBerry tried to soup up the Passport by giving it a 2.2 GHz Snapdragon 801 quad-core processor and 3 GB of RAM along with 32 GB of expandable internal storage. But they are all numbers. This is not a sluggish phone at all if you consider old BlackBerry phones and well BlackBerry 10 is perhaps one of the most underrated mobile platforms on the planet. And in this context, there really is only iOS and Android. And this is a real shame because both Windows and BB10 now have a lot to offer. Overall, the smartphone performs optimally, can handle multitasking and is a very good productivity smartphone for professionals. BlackBerry has never been known for its camera. And while the company did make some pretty solid changes to the camera app inside the BB10, and in a way it is utilized by the Passport, Inside the Passport, you get a 13 megapixel 5 element f2.0 sensor complete with optical image stabilization. There's also an LED flash and full HD video recording capabilities at up to 60 frames per second. But the camera is a little slow and the autofocus is not that great. But the image results are brilliant. And mind you, because of the square display, the images come out Instagram ready. BlackBerry Passport sports a 3540 mAh battery that is just amazing and lasts you easily for a day and a half. Battery wise, the Passport is right on the money. In my honest opinion, if ecosystem is important to you and you're already locked into Apple or Google's respective walled gardens, this handset probably isn't for you. It's a great device, but it does things differently. However, if you want a powerful piece of kit, that is excellent at multitasking, has a gorgeous keyboard, brilliant battery and an excellent notification hub as well as a growing selection of applications and market leading security then you could do a lot worse than the BlackBerry Passport. And for BlackBerry loyalists, this is by far the best BlackBerry ever to come out in the market. <laughs> Microsoft recently came out with its Windows 10 operating system. Microsoft realized that Windows 8 experience was not the one that the customer was looking for. Or maybe the case was that the customer did not know which is the right device to run such an operating system. Yes, I'm talking about the all new Microsoft Surface Pro 3, which can even give the MacBook a run for its money. Next up, Sahil Gupta, assistant editor of India Today Group Digital, gets you an exclusive review of the all-new Microsoft Surface Pro 3. When we talk about our gadgets, we think about them in very simplistic terms. It's either a laptop or it's either a tablet. But when Microsoft released Windows 8 a couple of years ago, it spawned a new type of device, a hybrid, which was optimized for touch, and also had a keyboard. Now, after two generations of the Surface, Microsoft early in the year released Surface Pro 3, which essentially has the heart of 
a really powerful PC, but it's a really slim tablet and you can attach a keyboard and it becomes a full-fledged desktop. So here we have the Microsoft Surface which we have managed to get exclusively. It has not been launched in India, but here it is. Let's start with the price. So the Surface Pro 3 is offered in many variants. A variant with a core i3 processor, a core i5 processor or a top of the line core i7 processor. Starts from around $799 and goes right up to $2000. We have the $1590 version which has a core i7 quad core processor. It has got 256 GB of memory and it's got 8 GB of RAM. Yes, this is an incredibly powerful machine. Surface Pro 3 has a 12-inch display with a 1080p resolution. It's an IPS panel which is optically bonded. So this is very crisp and it's quite bright. It's a little reflective, but it's a really awesome display. On the back, we have this 5-megapixel camera. It has got this full HD 1080p uh, webcam on the front out here. And if you look at this, this is just so slim. It's just slightly thicker than the first generation iPad. Think about it. This thing has an i7 processor, a quad core i7 processor. It's got 8 GB of RAM and it has got 256 GB of memory in it. This is a really powerful machine. To achieve this form factor, Microsoft had to redesign the fan. It literally reinvented the fan that goes inside the machine and it, it has got these vents out here which ensure that the, the tablet does not get hot. And it remains very cool even if I'm running a lot of applications like Photoshop, Word, Outlook, multiple tabs open in Chrome or Internet Explorer. I can do anything. I can even game on this. It's got Intel Iris Pro graphics in it. It's got the Haswell CPU out here. In terms of performance, this thing is an absolute beast. It's a rocket ship. It's, it's running at warp speed. I'll, sorry for paraphrasing Star Trek, but I'm not being hyperbolic out here. The type of specs this thing packs, it's right up there with the MacBook Pro, which means you can run multiple applications, video editing applications, Photoshop, Outlook, PowerPoint, everything simultaneously, and it would just respond with great integrity. Right now you just see the tablet, but if you're thinking about how to get work done, then you'll be wondering, I don't want to use the touch screen to type on it. But there's a solution for that. Microsoft sells a keyboard accessory, which is meant to be used with the Surface Pro 3. This is the type keyboard, and all one has to do is snap it like this, and boom, acts like a full cover. And using the kickstand out here, which moves to great degrees out here, you can adjust this and it remains really sturdy. And here you are, here you've got a full laptop out here. The Surface Pro 3 is not officially available in India. It's only available in six countries. And at around $1,600, it's a really expensive machine to own. But if you can go to the US and get one, by all means, go and get this machine. Because it blends the best of a tablet and a full laptop. It offers great battery life, brilliant performance, and it's got such a sleek design. Maybe for MacBook Pro purists, the trackpad on the keyboard may not be up to scratch, but for most Windows users, this will be a much better experience. And with that, it's time for us to take a very small break on the show, but you guys don't go anywhere because there's a lot more technology action coming your way on the other side.